so as all you guys know, or hopefully if you haven't, there's another video I've made on having IBS. So for me, eating gluten-free and dairy-free are very important things, and it helps me to stay a little bit more fit. Not even fit, just so I can go to the bathroom. I'm not hugely bloated. Which don't get me wrong, like I stated in my other videos, sometimes even eating this way doesn't stop me from looking like I'm eight months pregnant. But sometimes it takes away from the stomach pain. So, I mean, you do what you can. So, I wanted to show some of the foods I eat. Kind of give some recommendations. So, I'm actually pretty picky, or at least I always thought I was. And since I've had to eat gluten-free food, excuse me, <laughs> and dairy-free food, um, it's been a little tricky trying things. So, the first thing we're going to show you because I'm snacking on them now are these. They are black bean tortilla chips. They are actually, like it says here, gluten-free, low sodium, which is fantastic because some stuff, I swear, even though it's gluten-free, you have the highest sodium and a lot of gluten-free foods, high in carbs. So that's probably not helping our situation. And this is a good source of iron, which is great because I brew super easy. But if you look in the back, let's see what it says for carbs. Yeah, 19 grams, so 7% carbs. Not too bad, but like I said, these chips are very good. The brown in color, you know, brown, almost black, depends on lighting. But they're very good. Um, even for someone who I don't eat black beans very much, it only has a slight taste of them, like the back taste. So, I mean, if you really hate black beans, you're probably not going to like them. But for someone that's, eh, you know, on Taco Bell black beans I've had, uh, the taste is okay. You know, if I don't have to eat a whole bunch of black beans, these are actually pretty great. Now, next, I don't even have any left of these. Um, I had two bags, and I ate them all within, like, two days. I really like these. Now, cinnamon is a great thing to eat. Um, it's good for you. You know, obviously in portions, you don't want to suck down a whole thing of cinnamon. However, I got these, and I don't like sweet potatoes either. I'm very surprised I like these. Sweet potato puffs, cinnamon churros. Oh my gosh. Fantastic. I literally mowed these down. They're certified gluten-free, certified vegan, which I know some people like to eat that way. I mean, most of the time what I eat is, so I don't really mind. Now I'm going the back of this. There's 17 grams of carbs. And there is no dairy in these either. Like I said, ate them so fast. Loved them. Loved them, loved them, loved them. Now, these are my lovely potato chips I get to eat, which are great. I love barbecue. I'm happy they had them in this flavor. But these as well are gluten-free. I just get these at Walmart, and they're really good. The other stuff I showed you, I had to go to an actual grocery store in my town to get a bigger variety for gluten foods. Fortunately, Walmart doesn't have that much. They have a, a little section, which is nice if you're doing like a little shopping trip and you just need to grab a few things. And this is one of the things I get. Very tasty. I love these things too. And you can even see they season them very well for a potato chip. I think they're great. Just saying. Now, I got these two. Now, this brand, Enjoy Life, is fantastic. All their products are dairy-free and gluten-free, which is a fantastic find. Because looking up gluten-free and dairy-free foods, making sure everything has both, very difficult, unfortunately. But this brand, fantastic. They even have chocolate chips that are dairy-free and gluten-free. I've just eaten them out of a bowl. Like, they're great. Um, these are Marshmallow Crunch chocolate brownie bites. They're okay. Not my hugest favorite. Obviously, I like chocolate. I only have one hand, so hold on. <laughs> I like chocolate, so I've eaten them. However, if I had a choice, they would not be my favorite, so they come like little chunks. I got like a crunch to them. You probably can't hear it with me chewing, but I can hear it in my ear. Like I said, they're okay. They kind of have, like, a minty flavor to them. Let's see. I don't really know where it comes from. It says it's made with dark chocolate, um, ancient grain flour blend, chocolate chips, marshmallow flavor, and crunch rice crisps. I guess the crunch comes from the rice crisps, but the minty flavor, I'm not too sure. But they're okay. For someone that 
I like chocolate. Obviously, chocolate is dairy, so you have to be careful. Um, they say dark chocolate's the best. I don't really care for dark chocolate either, unfortunately, but it's okay. Now, I also remember... I don't have them right next to me, but those cinnamon puffs I showed you. I got barbecue ones as well. Not a fan favorite. I put it in seasoning way too much. I even asked my fiance to try them. He literally spit it out in the trash. So, I mean, if you love, love, love the barbecue flavor, you might like them. But my own opinion, cinnamon ones, way better. Last thing I'm going to show before I go, just some random stuff. I have other stuff I eat, but these are kind of what I had around. That would be a nice little video to talk about some IBS healthier gluten-free foods, you know, whichever. So I eat these as well, Skinny Pop Popcorn Mini Cakes. I have to say, I've never gotten this brand before, but I know all rice cakes are gluten-free, although you have to be careful with how much you eat. From something I read on the food maps thing, it's not good to eat a whole bunch. However, I like them. Um, these ones are cinnamon and sugar. What I didn't know is they are way more powdery than, um, I don't know if glaze is the right word, but most of the um, mini cakes or rice cakes I've had are more glazed on than powder. <laughs> and these ones, unfortunately, have more of the powder. I don't know if you can tell it's more powdery. I did not realize that. Uh, they're still good, but... I don't know. I'm not as big of a fan of just the powder. But anyway, hopefully this gave you guys a little bit more of an option. You can see what we have to eat. Honestly, I do tortilla wraps for myself for what I eat. I do the spinach gluten-free ones. I like those ones better than the plain gluten-free ones. Better. They have a little bit more flavor to them. And it's a like acquired taste. It's hard. You've got to get used to the bread aspect. Um, the bagel gluten-free ones I got... Eh, they're tolerable, but I never make it through a full bagel. And I can't find dairy-free cream cheese. So if any of you know where I can find dairy-free cream cheese, that'd be great. I found the butter, which is good. Um, they make it with avocado or it's like oil butter. Not that bad, just can't use a whole bunch of it. The bread, though, oh, I haven't found plain bread that's gluten-free that I like yet. It's too thick. I can't seem to get it. But hope this was informative. Little insight into how I eat and try to deal with my own issues and I hope it helped give you guys some options. You guys have a wonderful day. God bless.